I'm Michelle Colbert. Welcome to Frank and Reads. We're delighted that you're all here. Having to spend it I departed highly pleased with the professor in his lecture and paid him a visit the same evening. His manners in private were even more mild and attractive than in public, for there was a certain dignity in his mien during his lecture which in his own house was replaced by the greatest affability and kindness. He heard with attention my little narration concerning my studies and smiled at the names of Cornelius and Pippa and Paraphasis, but without the contempt and lesser crumpt that he exhibited. He said that these are men to So I encourage everyone to please um, indulge. Have some goodies, please. Have yeah, some goodies. Have, have a good Look at the art. What kind of potatoes does the creature like? What, what's the answer? <laughs> mash. Because monster mash, you know what? <laughs> mash, because monster mash. Okay, mash. I won't sing it, so that's your big prize. Really? Two or oh, 21, right? Three? Three? Four. Marcus, two? Four? Oh, this is going to be difficult. Okay. Uh, so there's four prizes. I think we should base it on who has the best joke. Okay, so that's it. That's no, the first story. No, who has to come up with the best joke or something? Or you can rock, paper, scissors. Oh, it's okay. 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 Please, everyone, come in. I'm about to announce the winner of the uh, student art prizes. So the first prize goes to Morgan Tra. And Morgan Tra's work is the bird and the two eyeballs. So the second prize goes to, from all things. Thank you, thank you. Alice Casey. I don't know that like, that is necessarily his fault that he's evil. That oh. if Frankenstein hadn't abandoned him and he had had such a bad experience with the evils that he's probably just as good as another person. Okay, Absolutely. okay, yeah. So you're saying it's That's not it's not just his it's fault. Kind of like the entirety of needs, and then it's kind of like at the bottom is just physiological needs. So that would be like the mechanics, right? Oh, and good. then in the center would be like a social, so he wants a mate, right? He wants a future, a family. Yeah. And then at the top would be self-actualization. And I think that's the point where it bridges with what humans want. They want to know what they want to know that there are other people like them, you know, that they can interact with. And then finally, they want to know that they have a final goal. That's beautiful. Life. Thank you. It's one of my favorite aspects of this novel. Remember, we're talking about a novel by a teenage girl from 1818. And it brings up these issues that we still haven't quite figured out. It, it all leads back into these big questions. What do you make of him? Do you find him sympathetic? Mm -hmm. Do you find him annoying? Do you find him? What is your response to him? Do you, okay. who, who here likes Victor? <laughs> oh, yeah? Let's Don't say that. Yes, That's okay. fantastic. No one ever admits that. <laughs> and why do you like it? What would be your reasoning? Yeah, let's hear it. Why do you like Victor? I'm going to sympathize with him. Okay, good. He didn't mean to create. Like a monster, like that. Yeah. Mean for anything to happen. Very good point. Yeah, he says he's trying to cure human disease. Yeah. Right. Thank you for coming. It could make you wonder why. But why? Why? I wonder why. I am crazy. It'll do fine.
I don't want to be blue. I just want to be what I want to be.